Welcome to Football Fancast, ladies and gents, and the five most important things we learned from the beautiful game over the weekend. Thing number one, the Leicester Fiesta continues. The Foxes went eight points clear at the top after putting four unanswered goals past the Swansea side that happily rolled over and had their bellies tickled. It's looking increasingly unlikely that Tottenham will overtake Claudio Ranieri's side, but Spurs fans definitely had cause to celebrate over the weekend as a fan has produced lapel pins commemorating Deli Ali's MySpace profile picture. That's basically as good as a Premier League trophy, right? Thing number two, the FA Cup final is going to be a repeat of the 1990 edition as Crystal Palace will face Manchester United. This comes after a repeat of the 2013 Football League Championship playoff final saw Palace defeat Watford and a repeat of most of Everton's recent performances saw them lose, this time to Louis van Gaal's Man United. Roberto Martinez now has about as much job security as Mamadou Sakho's pharmacist. Thing number three, the battle to join Aston Villa in the championship is still raging on. Sunderland and Newcastle both found some fight with decent draws earned over the weekend and the Black Cats moved out of the relegation zone on goal difference, presumably because Big Sam was saying his prayers. It suddenly looks very dicey for Norwich. And thing number four, it looks a lot less dicey for Barcelona. The Blaugrana spanked Sporting Gijon 6-0 a few days after drinking Deportivo's milkshake with an 8-0 win in A Coruña. That's 14 unanswered goals in four days, eight of them from Luis Suarez. No team has scored that much in such a short space of time since Leicester's last trip to Asia. Ooh. And finally, thing number five, a Leicester player has been crowned PFA Player of the Year. Of course, it's Riyad Mahrez. The Algerian international is the first African to win it and at a cost of £400,000, he's the cheapest since Aston Villa's Paul McGrath in 1993. When he first moved to Leicester, he admitted he thought it was a rugby team. And well, he's shown that if you try, you will succeed. Get it? Because they score tries in rugby. Anyway, that's it. Give me your thoughts at Football Fancast on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Love to your mothers. See you next time.